Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about a condition called being egg bound for your hens. Um, and I'm going to be referring to my notes here only because I want to make sure that I don't leave anything out and I don't skip anything because this is a really important topic. So what is being egg bound? That is when an egg is stuck and can't come out through the vent the way it's supposed to. Usually it gets stuck between the uterus and the vent somewhere. And when the hen goes to lay an egg, um, the cloaca seals shut. That's where um, the intestinal tract, it seals shut there so that the eggs don't get poop on them as they're being laid. So if that shuts and the egg can't make it all the way through and come out, that's what being egg bound is. And the problem with that is because the cloaca is shut, the hen can't go to the bathroom. If she can't poop, then it's holding all of that inside, and that is what is the health hazard. And if it doesn't rectify itself in 24, 48 hours, then the hen can actually die from that, from all the bacteria that's possibly in the poop. So that's why it is such a big deal. So... And it can also cause vent prolapse if the egg doesn't come out. Um, so what are causes of it? The basic causes are malnutrition, um, severe internal parasites. If they have a large egg or an, an odd shaped egg that is not typical for the way they lay. And, um, or it could just be a malfunction of the reproductive system. Every once in a while, the reproductive system has a problem. So what are the symptoms? What do you need to look for? Well, lethargy, of course, because anytime a hen is having a problem, she'll be a little lethargic, but specific to being egg bound, you'll see shaky wings. You'll see her walking like a penguin, like she's got something stuck. Um, and another one is that you'll see her tail pumping like she's trying, she's straining and trying to get something to come out. So those are the typical symptoms. So if you find a hen displaying those symptoms, what do you do? So you'll need latex gloves and you'll need some kind of lubricant, whether it's KY jelly, petroleum, vegetable oil, something like that. And what you're going to need to do is put the glove on, lube your finger up, and put it through the vent and go straight back about two inches, which would be about this middle joint on your finger. If she's egg bound, you're going to feel the egg. And if, she, if you don't feel an egg in there, then it, there's something else going on. She's not egg bound. Um, so that's how you figure out. Um, for sure if a hen is egg bound or not. Now if she is, what do you do about it? Well, you have to be really careful because you don't want to break the egg inside her. That causes a whole other set of problems. So the first thing you do is set up a warm Epsom salt bath. You need it to be three or four inches deep so that she, when she sits down, it covers her abdomen area. Between the heat and the Epsom salt, it the idea is to get everything relaxed. Maybe that will help the egg come out. You want her to sit in that bath for 15 to 20 minutes. And then um, you can take her out and dry her off. You also want to give her some calcium pills. So whether that's Tums or an actual pill that you, that you have, if it's an actual like human calcium pill, you'll need to crush it up into a powder. Um, or if it's a capsule, you can pop it open and just give her what's inside. Tums also, you probably want to crush up into a powder. Um, so after you give her her Epsom salt bath, um, dry her off, and then massage her, her abdomen area from front to back. And the idea is to, to get contractions going again in the oviduct to move the egg along. And you might be able to feel that it's moving um, back, and that would be a good thing. So once you've massaged her for about 10 minutes, put her in a dark crate with food and water and just let her be quiet and, and sit there, see if she can't pass the egg on her own. Um, and you can repeat it several times, three or four times across the next several hours, about two, three hours. Um, and you can also lubricate her vent with 
oil or something just to help the egg come out when she finally does get it there. So if that doesn't work, my recommendation at that point would be to seek a vet, even though vets are expensive. And that's because if the egg breaks inside, you'll, you would need to remove all the little pieces of shell because the shell can can cause infection internally, and if the egg breaks inside, she'll definitely need antibiotics and you need a vet to be able to get those. So how do you prevent this from happening in the first place? Um, premature laying can be a cause, so you really don't want to do anything that forces your young hens to start laying before they're naturally gonna start. Um, they know when it's time to start, just let them start on their own. Um, another, prevention is make sure that they get a balanced diet and that would include not being overweight so if you've got an obese hen do things that will get her to, to get some exercise so hang a, a cabbage head where they have to actually jump and play tetherball kind of with it in order to get that as a treat so that they have to peck at it um, so do things like that to, to force some exercise um, that will help if you've got a hen that weighs a little too much. Um, make sure that you've got enough next nest boxes for the size of your flock. You need one nest box for every three or four hens. Because sometimes if you don't have enough nest boxes and she really wants to lay in the box, she won't go somewhere else if the box is busy. She won't go lay in another part of the yard or somewhere else in the coop or something like that. And she'll hold that egg in. That's not good for her either. And um, the last thing on here is check for worms because sometimes worms can cause um, egg bound situations. So definitely um, if, if you find out she is egg bound, just check and make sure she doesn't have any worms as well. So that's my tip for you today. I really wanted to just talk about this because it is a super serious situation and I want to make sure you know how to check for it and you know what to do about it if you find it. So that's what I've got for you today and I hope that was valuable for you and I'll catch you on the next one.